A Waimanalo farm is still cleaning up after rain and wind from last week's Kona Low wiped out its crops. This comes as the farm is entering its peak season for visitors. Christy Tomashiro has more. Waimanalo Country Farms is known for its sunflower fields that provide a perfect backdrop. This is really bad right here. This is the worst. But this is the mess left behind by last week's Kona Low storm. The family-owned farm says their prized possession is destroyed. If you look at the fields, there's no aisle in the middle anymore because all the flowers are all twisted and knocked down. Um, a lot of them are flat in the middle just because the winds came down the mountain and just flattened it. The farm says this is the worst damage they've seen from a storm in recent years. The winds so strong, their fence and other items were blown away during the severe weather. We couldn't even walk in the fields. For one, it was completely flooded. Um, if you walk, even tried to walk, you'd just sink. Waimanalo Country Farm says the recent storm wasn't the only round of wet weather that put a damper on their reopening. We were supposed to open Mother's Day weekend, but because of all the prior just cloudiness and rain that we had even then, um, it stunted all the growth and the actual bloom. The farm is only open to the public a few months out of the year, and this is peak time for visitors. It's looking on the bright side as some of the sunflower fields were spared. The farm will open to the public this Saturday. Guests will be allowed to cut the flattened sunflowers to take home, and the farm will make sunflower oil from the leftover flowers. It kind of set us back a little bit, but we're just hoping that um, when we do finally open, people want to still come. From damaged crops to clearing out vegetation and patching potholes, the state transportation department is also cleaning up after the storm. We're in the hundreds of potholes that our crews have been um, recovering from. We have five crews out um, if I'm going from yesterday to today and into tomorrow. So you're going to see uh, some of the vegetation growing out a lot more than it normally does. We'll cut it back to ensure the site distances that are available in those areas. The city says it received a handful of damage reports from businesses and residents. You can still report damage from the Kona Low. Just go to KH12.com. Chrissy Tomashiro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.